Hello everyone and welcome back to some more balloons to the battles on the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as usual. So uh we're back with Long Day and we played three different matches. Um we kinda mixed it up with what we did. Um with this one it was actually a random trio bonanza, uh which I thought would be pretty fun because we haven't done it before, so we were like, okay, let's just let's just do it. Um so the three titles we got were Boomerang, Sub, and uh Mortar. And this was a 15 minute game, so this will make for a perfect episode, um, time wise, which is good, which is great. Um, I like I like games that match up that well with time. Uh, it's pretty cool. But you guys um, are probably wondering why there's no uh, video on reviewing the new update. Um, so I was kind of looking for patch notes for it, and I couldn't find any. So I was kind of assuming that it was it may not have been like a major update because there was no patch notes put up for it so I apologize for that but I mean I don't know I don't know what happened with that maybe it wasn't just a, wasn't a major update or there just hasn't been patch notes put up for it yet I don't know what happened really but uh, long day does go ahead and go straight for a radioactive sub I'm not really sure if it's called radioactive or if it's other something else <laughs> but um, I go ahead and start with boomerang because boomerang is absolutely great for early game. Um, the only problem that it, it runs into is camos. Um, so basically, what my idea was was to use mainly uh, boomerang ninja or boomerang ninja. What am I saying? Uh, boomerang monkey. And then uh, for the camos, you just put down a radioactive sub to just kind of uh, change them from camo to regular. So that was my idea for this game. Um, that's that's what I was gonna do, and obviously if it went late game, we can use the mortar stall and the uh, first strike ability on the sub. So I, I had it put all together in my mind um, already, which is good. Uh, that's what I really like to do. I kind of just like to put a put an idea or a strategy on what I'm gonna do in the game in my mind, um, just so I'm kind of prepared. Because if I just go in gun slinging, I can't. <laughs> I I don't really do well with that. Um, like, in that other video I made, that, uh, the video where, like, I, I said this is how not to play, um, in that video, I did exactly what I just said I don't want to do, because that happens, um, is, when I went in, I just went with random strategies, which, it's not the fact that I did it with random strategies that I lost, and that I played horribly, um, it was the fact that I did not plan out how I was going to use that strategy because I don't think those were bad strategies. I just didn't use them well. Um, so what I like to do is kind of put together in my mind what I'm going to do before we kind of get too far into the game so that I can actually not make too many mistakes when using the strategy. Obviously, I'm still going to make mistakes, but it's a lot better, to, in my opinion, to kind of figure out what you're going to do. Um, so I thought both those spots for the boomerang was pretty good. Um, I set this boomerang on last so it could just keep that constant uh, straight shot stream into the balloons that Long Day was sending me. Um, and then I thought this was a bo good boomerang spot, which I actually put this one down first just so it could kind of wrap around like this. Um, and it can also just shoot up straight into this. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty. Th I thought those two were pretty decent spots. I do go ahead and throw it on the sub uh, right before round 12. Because round 12 is when you can start sending camo balloons, so I want to make sure I'm able to kind of transform those balloons into regular balloons, and then these boomerangs can kind of take everything out. I did put up a um, big, is it called like a big boom or big shot mortar or something like that? I can't remember what the upgrade's called, but I did get one up, mainly for ceramics, um... To be honest, yeah, that, that's kind of what I was going for. I was gonna—I rushed with some uh, regen rainbows, just to kind of catch that sub off guard. But that was actually a pretty good sub position. So, uh, and that boomerang cleaned them up pretty nicely. I, I feel like the sub probably could have taken them all out by itself, but that boomerang was probably good to throw up just to be safe. Um, I do go ahead and throw out another one, um, and the reason for that is because if he had like quick shot, cam it's quick shot ceramics. Um, or quick shot camo ceramics anyways. I was actually kind of worried about quick shot camo ceramics because I don't know if those could make it past my sub without getting detected. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility. So I kind of just put these two guys here. So if it did get transformed into a regular, um, these two mortars would pop it pretty easily. And I put one down here and up here just because if the top one missed it, then the bottom one would hit it. Um, 
I had to go for a pretty beefy uh, rush there and took about 80 lives from uh, Long Day. Or no, it was about 1... No, 70, I think. Um, so it was a pretty good rush. Um, so yeah, I think it was about 68 lives or so. Um, yeah, that's like 1... Yeah, that's 150, okay. But... Uh, yeah, the only thing, the big thing I was worried about with camos is uh, those quick shot camo ceramics. I was a little, I, I didn't know for sure if they could slip through my sub without getting detected, so I was a little worried about that. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of banked on that actually working. I should have put one down here like Long Day did, but that worked out as well too. So I decided to rush with a Moab and ceramics under it, just because the defense really was not capable. I didn't think of popping these balloons. Um, that sub, I didn't think he'd be able to pop it, uh, but he actually put a boomerang at the end, and he just kind of turbocharged, and that that wiped it up pretty well, and he put one at the end just to kind of make sure if anything get, got past, he could just clean it up. Uh, so I tossed him well done for that. That was a pretty decent rush defend. Um, that, or that was just a bad rush. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty decent defend, though. Um, but we do get up a triple mortar, uh, ready, getting ready for the stall, just in case we get rushed with anything crazy. Um... But since this was Bonanza, um, to be honest, I, I was kind of just like throwing down a few towers. Um, but I was making sure these towers actually had purpose, so I wasn't just wasting money. Um, but that's why I like banana cause, ban Bonanza, because you have so much extra money to just kind of uh, do whatever you want. Um, so that was kind of fun. Um, I threw down two of these towers in this. I probably didn't need those, but I kind of just threw them down just to, uh, I don't know, for the extra damage, I guess. But I do go ahead and do a bit of a bit of a beefy brush here with some Moabs and BFB, which I honestly thought would take him out. But he does go ahead and uh, mortar stall as well as boot. Uh, did he boot? No, he didn't boost actually. But he he went ahead and got another uh, Moab stall or triple or mortar stall, not Moab stall, mortar stall, and uh, defended it pretty easily. So uh, well played on his part. Um, but yeah, so. Basically, what I was thinking is I was gonna rush him on round 32 with uh, Zoe my God, but the only the only problem with that, I was actually thinking about rushing him if he rushed me, um, and the main reason for that was because if I rushed him and he didn't rush me, I would be left with no eco because I'm using eco not farms, so I would destroy my eco with these Zoe my God. So I wanted to only rush Long Day if he actually rushed me, um, just so we'd both be in a pit if we both failed our rushes. <laughs> that was pretty much the only reason um, which I'm thinking about it now what I probably should have done is I should have just if I just defended the rush I probably could have just won just like um, bringing it out farther but I don't know um, I like to uh, look at this replay as I said before because I like to see how much eco and how much money each of us had and I just realized that a long day was at 9k eco <laughs> and I was at 5.6k so he definitely had the had a huge advantage. I I have never been known to be good at eco, to be honest. Um, <laughs> as you can see here, he's absolutely dominating me. Almost 2k, two time not 2k, two times the amount of eco. Um, I thought I was doing well, but compared to him, like holy cow, 190k. I only have 23k. He has 9k eco. I have 6k. Um, but I do start to. Uh, going back on eco and uh, he's not ecoing right now mainly because he's just kind of throwing down subs um, just in case I did go ahead and rush him with so many gods he could just get up a few first strikes but to be honest I'd be pretty dumb to rush him with so my gods with that with that defense because he could easily get up so my he could easily get up first strikes one first strike could take out his oh my god on this at this stage so I obviously didn't send him one because it just would not be smart for me to do that at all um, and I'm really glad I didn't sell my radioactive sub because uh, that was kind of my only camo detection, which is why I was getting up some, um, what are they called? I can't remember. I was getting some of these glaive throwers. I was getting some glaive throwers up, mainly just to pop balloons because I know balloons would get really difficult. Uh, I think on round 32, there's like a huge like balloon, uh, natural balloon, um, like clump, so, which is mainly why I was getting up glaive throwers, because there's a lot of ceramics that come in around 32, I believe it's around 32 anyways, um, and I have mortar stalls and uh, these uh, mortars just to kind of give that extra popping damage, um, so I thought that'd be pretty good against the uh, round 32 balloons, um, 
but yeah, long day's doing pretty well um, in terms of eco. I'm actually catching up a bit on eco, which is good. Um, but now he's starting back on eco, and he's going to gain a huge lead again. So he was getting a bunch of first strike capabilities a lot more than, uh, or a lot quicker than I was. Um, I didn't think it was too important at this point in the game. Like, if he just... If he rushed me with uh, non-stop mobs at this stage, they wouldn't be too powerful. So I I, j I could just easily get up first strikes and just keep first striking. To be honest, um, because Moa or uh, Zone my gods don't really get too powerful to till about round 32. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what my plan was. I have a lot of mortar stalls just in case I do get rushed. Um, I could just stall, get some more money for my eco, get up a first strike, and be good to go. I just realized we actually did catch up quite a bit, Nico. We were down what, like four or five k, and now we're about even. Um, so sweet. Uh, mainly because he's throwing out a bunch of boomerangs and stuff to kind of prepare for any balloons. Um, but the only thing I was confused on is why he didn't throw down more glaive throwers because, um, like with glaive throwers, they're really good for balloons. I know boomerangs are too. Uh, actually. Now that I think about it, he did have radioactive sub. So he already had camo detection on pretty much all of his boomerangs. Um, but I feel like glaive throwers are still better for popping balloons than boomerangs are. Or, not boomerangs, bionic boomers are. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like that's actually the case. Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But I thought these camo leads were actually going to give him some trouble, but I forgot he had the radioactive sub there to kind of uncamelize them. <laughs> That's a new word I made up. Um, we are getting pretty close to round 32, though. Uh, so I'm thinking about a rush, but uh, I'm, as I said before, I'm mainly going to just wait for him to rush me. Um, and then if he does, then I'll rush him back. Um, so yeah, that was the plan. Um, I was just kind of waiting to see what would happen with that. Oh, my voice. just <laughs> I've been talking a lot today uh, at school, so my voice is a little broken, which I apologize for. But... Uh, but, um, we took the lead in Eco. We actually have 2k Eco higher, which I didn't realize. Um, mainly because he's been spending the last few rounds just kind of throwing down boomerangs. Um, which, I don't know if it would be better to throw down more defense or go for Eco. Uh, I didn't know for sure. Um, I thought I had a pretty decent defense at that time. Um, yeah. I had plenty of mortar stalls. I had plenty of balloon popping power ability. I had plenty of Zone My God popping power ability. Although round 32 Zone My Gods are pretty deadly. So that was kind of the only thing that would be able to take me out at that point. Um, same goes for Long Day. Uh, the only thing that could probably take out his defense at this point is just really, is just Zone My Gods, to be honest. Um, so yeah. Um, I was also planning on. Hmm. I was planning on getting home a lot earlier today, which is kind of a bummer that I didn't. I got home at like 7... 7.20? 7.10? I'm not really sure. One of the two. But, uh... If you look on Long Day's screen, he's just kind of going all out with these uh, Bionic Boomerangs. It's kind of funny. It kind of cracked me up. Um, all these abilities on the Bionic Boomerangs is kind of crazy. Um, all those Boomerangs just flying throughout the screen. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, there was like thousands of them just flying everywhere. Um, th th very small things can make me laugh sometimes. Um, but look at his screen. This is just crazy. Looks like a bunch of bumblebees. Um, but, uh, I'm pretty, at this point I was pretty surprised that he didn't rush me. And then he does go ahead and rush me as soon as I said that. Um, I actually forgot that he rushed me there, to be honest. I thought it was actually a little later. But, um, he does start the rush, um... I'm not really sure where the Zoma guys haven't come on the screen. Oh, wait, has he started to rush? Oh, he hasn't started to rush yet. What am I talking about? Um, the the Zoma God rush that he uh, rushes at me actually doesn't come till a couple rounds later, um, which I completely forgot about. But he does go ahead and boost some Zoma God. Look how fast those Zoma Gods are. I was terrified. But uh, what I do go ahead and I do Moab stall. And the Moab stall barely did anything. Those Moabs were so quickly. So quickly. But uh, those mobs are so quick. All I do, though, is I just use some first strikes, take them out pretty well. Um, and what I try to do is I try to counter-rush him as soon as I possibly can. Um, 
as you can see, I do throw out some fast cooldowns on my gods as soon as he starts rushing me, just to make sure that uh, if I actually defend this, then maybe I can somehow take him out. Um, these mobs were making it pretty far on my screen. I was honestly pretty terrified, but these mobs or these uh, mortar stalls were doing wonders for me. Um, I keep rushing him. I just keep going. I just keep going all out. Um, hoping that they would somehow take him out. Um, look at the amount of boomerangs that are on his screen. Oh my god. That's crazy. He just used all of his abilities. But these mobs are making him really far. I'm pretty terrified. Um, I, I'm mortar stall once again. And these glaive throwers just work their magic on those balloons. And take it out easily. But those BFBs on his side are making it pretty far. I don't I don't know what he's going to do. I think he ran out of his first strike. Because he just kind of tries to pause them with mortar stall. And it doesn't look like they're going to do the work that they need to do. And I think these boomerangs are just not going to be enough power just to take out these uh, Moabs. But these first strikes, he, he did have enough first strikes to take it out. But those balloons did, in fact, sneak through on his side. And we do take the victory. Um, I will have the next two games that we did play in the next episode. Oh, man. I, di I actually didn't realize he was crying. I think I left the game before he started crying. Oh, I don't like to see him cry. I will uh, thank Long Day for playing me in the next episode when we play our last two games. Um, if you would like to play me, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get to each and every comment as soon as I possibly can. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see all you beautiful people in the next episode.